Hi there, I'm Dan Wilson from Tame Bay, and in this video we're going to look at how you can optimise your pictures on your eBay listings. The images you include in your eBay listing are probably the most important part of your sales pitch as you convert browsers to buyers. So why are so many images you see on eBay of such a low quality? It really pays to invest in imagery, not least because so many shoppers now use mobile devices to buy and that is predominantly a visual experience. Many won't even read your description on mobile, so you need to let your photos do the talking. You can add 12 images to each eBay listing free of charge. Needless to say, for some items, one will suffice. But for unique, antique or special items, you'll easily be able to fill all the gaps. Indeed, for something like a car, 12 may not be enough. Under eBay rules though, you must include at least one image. The aim is clear, crisp and useful imagery that gives your buyer everything they need to make the purchase. Avoid cluttered backgrounds, crop closely and show any damage or special features in close up. Natural daylight usually leads to the best results and always photograph in high definition. It's perfectly possible to create perfect pictures with just a smartphone or tablet, but if you're going to be using the same image dozens of times, it can pay to use the proper equipment or even engage a specialist for a truly professional finish. You can find suppliers who can help in the Tame Bay Guide. For new goods, you can use stock images that may have been provided by the supplier or manufacturer, but for used items, you must supply your own shots. Don't forget to abide by the eBay picture standards. This will help them display your products to their best advantage in search and on a mobile. Don't forget eBay has some rules related to imagery. Firstly, any image must be at least 500 pixels on its longest side. You are not permitted to include text or borders on your images. You may have seen these on some listings, maybe boasting a discount or including your shop name, but they clutter up the image and look bad on mobile. You may, however, include a discreet watermark if you're worried that someone may pinch your pics for their own listings. Making sure you have top-notch imagery is one of the ways you can really shine on eBay. So take the time and effort to stand out from the competition and improve your sales. Thank you for watching Tame Bay TV. Don't forget you can find out lots more news and information about eBay at tamebay.com.